What is good boys and girls and welcome back to Quackers Tea with me, your boy, QTVM. It's on the QT because I am one. Yes, just like you wish your father was, the Arsenal career mode is back. Just a quick update on why kind of my consistency has gone about as far away as my actual father did. Basically, my laptop, which I do all of my actual editing on, is broken at the moment because I basically fucked the charge by leaving it on all night. You know, someone else's fault. Obviously not obviously not my own fault. And I've got a fuck knee because I'm actually six foot three. So sitting at a computer desk all day, it's not ideal for me. So, you know, just wait. So I'm getting a phone call. I'm being told I have to give a disclaimer on this video quickly. So just cut to whatever that would be. What you are about to witness is one of the most violent, disgusting beatdowns in football history. If you suffer from PTSD or support BVB, please look away now. They're about to get treated worse than a ginger in college. Seriously, this gets gross. For your own sake, please leave now, whilst you have the chance. Patrick Bamford is a bad, bad man. I'm not quite sure what that was about, but yeah, just knee problems, bad computer. Martin Erdegaard, what a player! Play the song, yes, boy! Our first real test, well, we did play Atletico and absolutely dick them. Our, first, our second real test in Europe, and we are looking good for it. 1 0 up. Early on, Martin Erdegaard showing who the dominant Norwegian male is. Dortmund, though, to be fair to lads from Borussia, Bing bang. they'd give it a go early, but they could only find the crossbar with that effort. 13 on the clock. Dortmund, find Daniel Malen, though, and. Say anything, but that was quality from the young Dutchman to be fair. The former Arsenal product is a bit of a dick for celebrating against his old team. But sometimes you do just have to take your hats off to what was an absolutely fantastic strike. We come back quickly. Emil the Smith Row finds the superstar. He gets it across the bat for one result, nope. and it's an incredible. I don't know how that one has stayed out. What the fuck? Did the ref just generally was? I swear down the ref was about to put Callum and just got scared. Just rewind that, please, someone. Anyway, Martin Erdegaard for on goal. There is only one result that time. Play it again. Haaland, you may be able to scare refs from booking you, but you cannot scare Erdegaard. He is the number one player in Norway, and you are learning it right now. 2-1 to the Arsenal. Smith Rowe coming forward again. He's got the tramp, so we know we're going to use it because I smell like a tramp right now. And that's unfortunately the truth. Nicola Barella, though, he finds Bamford again. 4-1 on the docket, and I'm... I'm starting to understand why there was a disclaimer on this video. We keep coming though. Bamford wins not that. I'm not quite sure what Dorman's defensive shape is. I'm about to end this man's whole career. Bye, Felicia. Bing bang. Play it again. Play it again. Now play the song. Play the song. This is all cool. Play the damn song, editor quackers. Damn right. What a player. Hattie in the first half. 5 1 up. I'm really not sure what Dortmund are playing at. Smith Rowe coming forward with that beautiful little cut in into Erdgaard. He thought he wanted to give Party Marty a go, but Party Marty, the party pooper, is in full effect there, though. Again, though, this was happening all game. They left two men back, and we just took advantage every single time. If you know that song, by the way, I swear it's it up. cool, just cool, into the mouth. That nice. was bad time. Now, we'll not suck you off if you know that song, but I will rate you. Smith Rowe coming forward, though. Ding! Makes it seven. And we just kept coming. Chiesa with an absolutely incredible pass. And believe me when I say, you ain't even seen the best pass of this episode yet. To Erdegaard. This time, you can hear the music kicking in, can't you? You can hear it. Party Martinelli. You know he had to get in on it. Eight, one. Eight. As a man who has been victim to an 8-1 win, at this point, I generally started... So I'm not even exaggerating. When I was a kid, I generally started cheering on Man United at this point and being like, please, can we? if we're going to lose 8-2, can we at least concede the most goals in Premier League history? Just because it would funny. Dortmund, they got one back. They did make it 8-2, but then Tommy Yasu did this. Sionku's got nothing left to keep it up. Chiesa gets for on goal, has the easy one into Kremadiemi, who bottles it, but you know who was there. The man who could do no wrong, Martin Erdegaard. 
making it 9 to 11 goals in one game. 11 goals in one game. And for all of you youths who are going to be saying, this is a normal difficulty, this is a beginner. Look in that top left corner right now. There's going to be an unlisted video linked. That is going to be the full gameplay footage, including me loading into the game, where you will clearly see it says Ormut at the top. I'm done with these accusations. I play Ormut. I'm just really good at this fucking game. Allow me. Leave me alone. Get off my jock. Next team up on the docket to find out how good I am, Bournemouth. Yes, I've just beaten Borussia Dortmund, the Farmers, who are literally living on the Rhine, so Farmers, 9-2. And now I've got to play Bournemouth. Yes. Well, it went about as well as you'd expect. Patty B. Bamford getting us off to an early start. You know what the goal is? If you've forgotten, I'll let you know. Patty Bamford, 50 Premier League goals. Dixie Dean, we're going to have you rising from the grave to give him the award for record goal scorer in English Football League history, lad. Chiesa driving forward. Spins his man. Adam Smith. There's only one Smith we know. Chiesa gets it back though. And if you know this song, then pff, ratings. <laughs> True, you know, if you know that song, you had a great childhood. So Smith can't quite provide the finish. Adam Smith, he's brother getting turned, may may have given Emil Smith Rowe some bad PTSD in that. Da, da, da. Did we just concede? What? <laughs> Fix up. Party coming forward now. Spins his man. Gets into cases. That's a big save. There we go. There we go. We back. We back. Emil Smith Rowe. The man back from injury. The man bagging. I don't know what quite has happened to him this season. But he has been unreal. He really struggled our first season. I think he got about two goals. He's already above 10. The man has been absolutely outstanding this season. Maybe he's reaching his peak early. And you know... I'm not going to have long, but if he's going to be reaching his peak early and Bamford's going to be scoring like that, there's going to be another thing peaking in my trousers. Bamford makes it free, wraps up the game because when, I'm sorry. If I concede free to Bournemouth, I will delete this channel right now. I will genuinely just give up. But anyway, free to the one. We weren't done. Nuno Tavares finds the mill, who finds Federico Chiesa, and you know he had to bag one. You must have been thinking, what's happened to Chiesa? I ain't seen him score in ages. That's mostly because I haven't uploaded an Arsenal crew mode video in ages. But there he is. He's back at it once again. And there we have it. 4-1 victory. We are only second league member, so this is actually a big result. Games coming off the back of big European nights. You've got to get the three points. It doesn't matter how you get them. We got them looking very sexy right now. We might have an ugly night. We might have a walk of shame once or twice coming back from Europe. And we've still got to get the result once we get home. We've still got to get that number. Anyway, we got an interview of the boss because I don't know what I'm talking about. Crackers on recent allegations of you cheating and actually playing on beginner difficulty, you scrub. I mean, let's be real. First of all, the people accusing me of playing on beginner probably can't even spell the word. And they can just look at the footage because it's like three comments in a week, and it's actually I'm actually quite happy because you know. And how seriously will you be taken? Be maybe being nine to two up already. I'm not gonna lie to you, those guys fucking suck. Like they are genuinely the worst team I've ever seen. I'm gonna be playing the absolute doldrums out against them. I mean, I'm playing my youth players' children against them. That's how bad this team's gonna be. They are getting no respect. As you can see, we even started a Bamiyang. We don't start a Bama blood cut, Yang. I hate him in real life. I'm like, fair enough, you want us in FA Cup. I still hate you. Learn to score from three yards. Yeah! You did it! Dortmund! You did it! Let's go! I swear, Dortmund at the moment, you know how, like, in P1, you had to do, like, the 800 metres on the cross country? And after, like, everyone has finished, but the fat kids, everyone would be, like, secretly cheering them on just because they pitied them. That was Dortmund in that game. Like, they got battered so badly. Just watching their man boots, like, flap around in that overly tight PE shirt. And yes, did, uh, this did actually happen. Whilst they try and finish the 1,600. And just like, you can do it. Speaking of you can do it, Sheffield United. Oh, my God. What nope. a loss. That pass from Brillo has made me feel things I didn't know I could feel about a man. 
Good save from DeVries though, but you know, how long are you going to keep this attack out? We are potent. 13 goals in two games. Denied! Sit down! And it's Nick DeVries. This man was Aaron A.A. Ron Ramsdale's backup. Well, we're shown why he's you backing suck. up because we got the real thing. A.A. Ron with an absolutely beautiful save. And you know, don't know. Nope. N just really not quite sure how, but Sheffield United were giving it to us. They were bringing it, you know. They were bringing the heat. I was impressed. They came looking like a 10 out of 10. Like that shitty TikTok meme where the really handsome guy dresses nope. up ugly on purpose when we all know he's secretly going to be fit at the end. I don't really get it. It's a bit shit, but I'm sure the fucking thirsty teenagers love it. Thirsty teenagers also love Italians. And meet Federico nope. Chiesa. Who the fuck is Virips? I was calling him Nick DeVries. I'm pretty sure that's an F1 driver. I don't even know his name. Adiemi nope. now. Or Kie I'm so confused. Chiesa getting the shot saved again. Sheffield United, they try and come out. And this is where you see how good I am. We force the long ball. We win it back. And the pressure starts again. Press early. Barcelona were famous for something called six seconds or less, or nine seconds or less. It was one of the two. It's not great that I've forgotten. But they win the ball back early, they mess up the team shape, and they make things like that happen. When you win the ball back quickly, the team can't get back into shape quick enough. Bamford makes it one. It doesn't matter how you score them. It just matters you get them in. It's just like losing your virginity. It doesn't matter who it's with. Your mates are going to take the piss either way. Believe me, my brother legitimately still has a nickname for the girl I first had sex with. Trench coat, if you're out there, respect. We were on the back foot, though. Sheffield United, most teams' morale gets beaten in when they go. I do. Like, if I want to kill myself, I will. When they go it's not hard us. to die. I could do it, like, right now. Sheffield United didn't, and we needed to find something because they, we struck and they struck right back. It's not about how many times you get hit. It's about how many times you get hit and keep moving forward. The Virups on the ball. We're going to see it again. We force them to go long. We force the bad kick. Ludovic Ajorke on the pitch to do exactly that. Finds Bamford. Rolls his man. I fucking love You're you. You're damn man. right I do. Have my children. Enter my girlfriend. When it comes to me and you, I want one plus one to equal three. Damn fine. Lord Bamford. Did you did you know? Oh, by the way, Bamford came back, scored a 90th minute equaliser. Shout Blem for putting that to my attention. It was Blem or Addy, one of the two. You're both legends anyway. And then injured himself celebrating. Like, if that's not Leeds this season, I don't know what is. Sheffield United, though, would attempt to come forward, but we have to pressure. We, we lose the ball. 82 on the clock. Sheffield United, we need to get something going. We can't afford to keep making these lapses of judgment. Rams are. Peace.